Greetings and salutations, YouTube. This is Maze's Realm once again, and this is my third episode of my DLC Delving series. And in this episode, I am going to be covering the world's deadliest oil rig offshore. Now, this map is by far my favorite out of the three maps that were released for the month of July if you are an Xbox Live Call of Duty Elite Premium member. Now, for those of you who are Elite members, then you would have already been playing this map for two weeks and have been basically either getting your ass kicked on this map or doing very, very well. Now, this episode is going to concentrate on obviously doing well on this map. And this map, the, the play style that you should be using on this map is very aggressive because it is the most chaotic map that I have played in recent times in Modern Warfare 3. There is never a dull moment on this map. And if there is a dull moment, it's because you're camping the fuck out of the map. <laughs> so I'm basically going to give you guys tips on how to do well on this map without literally sitting in a corner and waiting for enemies to run by and ambushing them. Because let's put it this way. If you're a camper on this map, you're not going to have that much fun. Because it's just, there's so many ways to flank on this map that you'll find yourself just sitting in a corner for like 10 minutes and not seeing anybody. So I would strongly recommend to put your big boy panties on and getting aggressive. That's what you have to be doing on this map. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, I would strongly recommend that you guys equip submachine guns or shotguns that do very, very well at uh, longer sight lines. Or if you're using a shotgun, obviously you can't do well on longer sight lines. So I would strongly recommend staying on the internal area of the map if you are using a shotgun on this map. Now, you do want to use a shotgun that um, that is not pump action on this map. And the reason for that is that the action is so fast-paced on this map that if you miss your first shot with, say, an 1887, a Spaz, or a KSC-12, it's going to be very, very difficult to recover and to actually get the second shot off on this map. So I would strongly recommend shotguns like the USAS-12, the AA-12, or God forbid, the Striker. Um, those shotguns perform very well on this map, and um, we'll, you'll have yourself some good matches if you're using a shotgun of that caliber on this map. So. Keep that in mind for those of you who love running buckshot and running around and owning people by just just dealing the most damage you could possibly deal at close range. If you're more of a passive player, then I would definitely equip a submachine gun that performs well at medium ranges. Now the reason why I say medium ranges instead of close ranges is that this map, although it has a lot of hectic close quarters combat, it also has very good long sight lines on it. So you want to equip a submachine gun that can deal quite a bit of damage at medium range. And those pretty much limit you to the UMP-45, the P-90, the MP-7. And if you're a little bit brave, the MP-5. Those submachine guns do very, very well on this map in particular. Now. For those of you who want to use your, you know, PP90M1 or your PM9, those submachine guns would perform better on the internal portion of the map in that room that I just uh, used suppressive fire to to look at, basically. Um, and in this area of the map, it, it will definitely benefit you to have a really high rate of fire and. And, and dominate in that way. Um, now, if you're thinking of what perks to use on this map, there are a lot of perks that are beneficial on this map, more so than the other maps that uh, I've covered on the DLC delving series so far. Now, 
if you want to be agile, obviously you're going to be, you know, using a loadout with a submachine gun or a shotgun. That's what I'd recommend anyway. And if you are going to be using that, then you want perks that make you very, very agile. Extreme conditioning, quick draw, and steady aim on this map are absolutely brutal. You will definitely be a killing machine if you have those perks equipped. Now, for me, I like to, to be a little bit more stealthy than most. So, if you are going to be a little bit stealthy, uh, like I am being in this in this uh, particular gameplay here, um, I would equip the perks that uh, that help you stay off the radar and help you uh, find enemy equipment. And uh, that would be obviously assassin and and um, sit rep. Sit rep works really well on this map because. You can hear the, en the enemy footsteps on any surface. There is no surface on this map that will muffle footsteps. All of it is either metal or or, or graded uh, metal, basically. So you'll just be hearing footsteps everywhere. And uh, sometimes you can get confused a little bit because there are multiple levels on the map. However, if you have yourself a headset like Tritons or Astros, or turtle beaches, um, you will find yourself being able to dissect on where the enemy is and and what what level of the map they're in. Um, that being said, uh, definitely equip um, sleight of hand on your arsenal, either on as your main perk or as your unlock if you're using the special strike package, which. I should mention is the strike package that I would strongly recommend for this map. Um, this map shines when you're using um, the special strike package, simply because there's so much cover from from running away from from assault kill streaks and even support kill streaks that I would just strongly recommend that you not use them. Um, if you are going to use assault um, uh, the, the assault strike package, I should say. I would strongly recommend using ground kill streaks. Um, equip something like the assault drone that will do a lot of work on this map. But also keep in mind that if you are using something like an assault drone or a sentry gun, there are a lot of ways that people can can flank your kill streak and knife it and destroy it easily. So that's why I would just strongly recommend that you not use those kill streaks on this map. Um, uh, the pave low will, will do well on this map. I, I did um, unlock a pave low while playing this map once. Um, and it did do some work um, because it killed very quickly. But um, the attack helicopter just wasn't really cutting it that much on this map. Um, it got shot down really quickly. And even if it didn't get shut down, or shot down I should say, it was very inactive. It just didn't do much of anything. So... Definitely equip the special strike package because it will only make you improve your kill streak and 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 get yourself a lot of kills in a very quick succession because it's very fast paced, very very fast paced. And if you're playing an objective game mode like domination and you're capturing the flags, which is quite simple to do if you have a good team, um, that is something that will be unlocking your next perks. And, and will help you get your specialist bonus or your one-man army much faster. So that's why on this map, I would strongly recommend that strike hack. I cannot reiterate that point more. So definitely consider that. And if you are going to be sniping on this map, you're going to be limited to a very, very narrow portion of this map. You either can snipe on the helicopter landing pad or the sniper perch is what I call it, which is the edge of the oil rig. It's it's um, basically the the real edge of the map. It has a a long catwalk that goes all the way to the edge of the map, and you can oversee um, the blue section and the the red section of the map. And um, for those of you who have played this map, you you'll know what I'm referring to when I say the red and blue section of the map. It's the the, the sections that um, are obviously painted that way 
on the wall. And it, this map is actually divided into three main sections, and that is the red section, the blue section, and the gold section, um, which is a little bit harder to define, uh, just because the, the color is a little bit more dull. But um, that basically um, covers the bulk of, of what I wanted to talk about for this episode of this map. And um, as I said, there are a lot of fast flanking routes on this map. So keep in mind that not only do they work well for you, but they also work well if you know you're you're being dealt with by an enemy. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, it's flank or be flanked on this map, and that's what makes this map incredible and a hell lot of a lot of fun to play. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for my next episode, and until next time, I'm out.